Good morning. Welcome to the Hospitality Technology Summit by HTNG at ISE. My name is Armand Rabinowitz. I'm the Vice President of Strategy and Workgroups for HTNG. So just to get a sense of who's in the audience, how many of you, uh, is this your first time being a part of an HTNG event? First time. Very good. Yeah, Doug, don't raise your hand. You, you've been to a few of these before. All right. Um, so HTNG is a not-for-profit trade association, so we always have to start our meetings with this code of conduct warning. Um, basically, as boils down to, you can read it, but if you have questions, you can ask me later. You can ask my two colleagues who are here as well. Just don't talk about price. Don't, you know, convene and try and um, monopolize technology in the hospitality industry. Um, and please turn off your electronics, silence those. Don't turn them off, actually. We want you to use them, but, but keep them silent. Um, if you ask any questions or offer any, uh, any suggestions uh, on products and whatnot, anything that you disclose, uh, you must recognize if you, don't, um, if you don't mention that you have intellectual, intellectual property claims, then you're offering that um, to, to the community. So if you want to file any intellectual property, you can do so on our website as a member or anyone who's, uh, who's participating in our work groups. So the purpose of HTNG, uh, as I mentioned, we're a not-for-profit trade association. Our purpose is to move the industry forward, to provide platforms for hoteliers, professionals, so we can work together to solve real problems facing the industry, introduce new solutions. Um, there's a lot of new technology that's always coming out, as we all know and many different facets of the hospitality industry that we need, that hoteliers and vendors need help to find the right solutions for the, for the right problems. So we were founded about 17 years ago to solve these problems through working groups and establish standards and best practices for technology. Our organization is comprised of about 4,500 members, uh, which includes about 100 hotel brands, and all those hotel brands together is about 5.2 million rooms. So we have a very substantial amount of the hospitality industry, the hotel industry, represented um, in, in, through HTNG. We also have uh, more than just hotels. We have cruise lines uh, represented as well. The largest cruise line uh, in, in the world is also a member of HTNG. One of the largest stadium venue owners in the United States is also a member of HTNG. So anything that broadly represents hospitality is, is uh, welcome to participate and receives value out of HTNG. So to find out more about HTNG, you can connect with us on our socials, uh, Twitter, obviously. LinkedIn is a great place to, uh, to get engaged. And uh, we also have a fairly active uh, Facebook group and page, and we'll be posting some pictures uh, to our Facebook group and page as well, so you'll want to follow those. I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Lutron and Samsung. Samsung has been a longtime supporter of HTNG and a big sponsor of our events as well, so thank you guys for being here. And Lutron, we got to visit you guys yesterday on our tour. Uh, hopefully some of you were able to join us on the tour. If you haven't seen uh, either of these at the trade show floor, hopefully you get a chance to do that tomorrow. But today is a good day to be here, because outside it's kind of nasty. Sorry for those who had to walk in through the rain, but it'll be a nice day to stay warm and cozy with us in a nice intimate setting and, and not have to, to walk over to the rye today. So I want to point out some of our, our leaders that are in the room and all over the world. We are led by our Board of Governors, who are all executives with uh, hospitality brands from around the world. Uh, we've got two pages of these individuals. They're CIOs and VPs of technology with uh, hotel brands, and some uh, marketing executives as well, um, CMO and, and COOs and CTOs. Um, I should call special attention to uh, um, one of our board members, Jeff Vazdafka, is here. Thank you, Jeff. And we also, uh, our, our Board of Governors is, uh, welcomes a group of executive advisors, uh, mostly consultants from the industry that have been long-standing consultants, uh, and they're uh, based all over the world, 
and help us with our events, programming, uh, work groups, and identifying challenges that our work groups need to solve. I want to recognize uh, Brian Steele, who's here as well, uh, from our executive advisors. Thank you, Brian. And we are uh, an organization that welcomes vendor and solution providers. Uh, we, we couldn't do what we do without them. So we have a vendor advisory council that we, uh, we leverage to make sure that we're doing the right things to help them as well, and not just the hotels, so that the whole uh, technology ecosystem for hospitality stays healthy. And so these are some of our, uh, these are the members of our vendor advisory council. And Samsung is uh, also on our vendor advisory council. Uh, Pietro is, uh, should be here today. If he's not here yet, he'll be here for a panel later. So he's on our council. And we always have to acknowledge our founder and CEO Emeritus, Doug Rice, who's in the back of the room. Um, he, he founded this organization 17 years ago and uh, is still very committed and supportive of, of our efforts as we continue going forward. So thank you, Doug. So we are a small organization based out of Chicago, um, and we have a couple, uh, we have someone who's also based out of the DC area, um, and just three of us have joined you here in Amsterdam, and we're sitting over at the table, uh, Mike Blake, our CEO, Patrick Dumphy, our CIO, and, and myself. So if you have any questions about HTNG during the break, the breaks or lunch, um, please feel free to stop one of us, and uh, we're happy to to answer any questions about any, any of the presentations, uh, any of the work groups, future events, opportunities, et cetera. So some of the ways that you can get involved. We have a API registry. So as we all know, connecting systems in the hospitality industry or in any system, any technology is better when it's connected. And the hospitality industry leverages connections just as much, if not more so, than almost any, any industry I can, I can think of. So we built an API registry where solution providers and operators of brands can post and listings of their systems, their solutions, and the APIs, where you can find documentation on those APIs, who you can contact about those APIs, and other solutions that those that their systems have connected to. So it kind of represents the web of interconnectivity between systems in the industry. So if you have a system that is relevant to hospitality, this is free and open to any and all solution providers, brands. You don't have to be a member to, to take advantage of the API registry. We encourage you to, to visit apiregistry.htng.org and create a listing for your company, all of your products falling under that company, and any APIs that you have with, within the, the suite of products. And we're happy to answer some questions about that if you need. So with our working groups, we operate anywhere from 15 to 20 working groups at a time. Um, it's a lot of things to keep track of. So we organize our working groups under what we call strategic pillars. Each of these strategic pillars are themed in a way that prioritizes the objectives of our Board of Governors. We worked uh, throughout 2017 and 2018 to identify the real important priorities for our industry by surveying our membership uh, around the world and our Board of Governors. And we came up with these six strategic pillars which our work groups fall under. Another way to get involved if you're interested in getting to know more of our Board of Governors and introducing yourself and your products and solutions to them, we have a, a program for our Platinum members it's an upgrade opportunity called Platinum Plus, where you can select a date throughout the year uh, somewhere in the world that's convenient for you when our Board of Governors convene. We, we meet about quarterly. Um, we just had a meeting yesterday. Uh, we'll have another meeting in a few months in, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and then another one in San Antonio, Texas in June. And you can sit with the Board of Governors that I just showed you and tell them about your solutions share your ideas, get feedback from them on how you should proceed with what you're working on, how you can make it better, how you can better serve their needs. And it's a really great opportunity. In order to uh, do this on your own, you'd have to fly all over, the, all over the world and meet about 30 people. So we really give you a great opportunity to sit face to face with our Board of Governors at, at a location that's convenient for you. So let, let Mike Blake know if you're interested in that or you can talk to me as well. 
A couple things about logistics. Wear your badge, unless you're on stage. You might want to take that off and leave it in the back. Um, restrooms are down the steps and over to the left. I think there's also some upstairs. Um, smoking areas, obviously, outside. Um, a little rainy today, so hopefully you guys you know, don't, need to, don't need to use that. Um, and I should probably comment on, uh, if it's not a little too redundant, but keeping in mind the health and wellness of everyone. Um, keep handshakes to a minimum. Stand, you know, not too close to everybody. If you've got a cough, you know, do it in, in, into your clothing and not into your hand. Just a friendly reminder so that we can all stay healthy and go back home to our loved ones and not carry something back to them. So thank you for that. And if you uh, haven't had a chance to see the I ISC show floor, um, you know, yesterday was a great day to visit, uh, and tomorrow will be another great day. Um, your badge that you have does give you access to the entire um, exhibit area uh, just down, down the street. It's about a 10, 15 minute walk uh, to get to the rye. So, you know, if it's, uh, if it's not raining too bad, it's a nice, nice stroll to, uh, to the convention center.